You said this is my dad's great grandpa, right? <laughs> Yo, this is wild. Actor Anthony Ramos grew up in New York City, cut off from his roots in Puerto Rico. But we were able to restore what had been lost, tracing back more than three centuries to a ship that arrived in Puerto Rico in the year 1695. On board were Anthony's ninth great-grandparents, and they were coming from a place that Anthony had never associated with his heritage. Do you have any idea what you're looking at? I mean, was this when all my family members traveled to PR? This is the moment your ancestors left the old world for the new world. And you now know the moment and the name of the boat That's which they boat. sailed to the new world. Jesus Maria y Joseph. From Tenerife. From Tenerife, that's like, that's the Canary Islands. Mm -hmm. That's wow. where your family's from. What's it like to learn that? Yo, that is bananas. The Canary Islands are an archipelago off the coast of North Africa. They were conquered by the Spanish in the 1400s. And some of Anthony's ancestors arrived from Spain not long after. But they only stayed in their new home for a few generations. In the late 1600s, the Spanish crown began offering incentives to entice its subjects to resettle in the Americas. And Anthony's ancestors were soon recruited to sail for Puerto Rico, which tells us something significant about their lives. So what would motivate a person to come to the wilderness? You know, I mean, they must have been broke. You got it. 100%. Broke. Most of the immigrants were poor and landless. And once they arrived in Puerto Rico, they got free land. They got a stipend from the crown. They got seeds to plant and supplies to plant the seeds. Pretty good deal. Yeah. It was a risk. You know, you had to be, have a pioneer mentality. You had to roll the dice. But you go, what the hell? I'm living here in poverty. <laughs> what if I got to lose if it's already hard? Yeah, you got it. After arriving in Puerto Rico, Anthony's ancestors settled around the city of San Juan. They would remain there until the early 1950s, when the family set off for New York, meaning that there is a continuous paper trail mapping Anthony's roots from the Canary Islands in the 1500s to his own birth in Brooklyn in 1991. What does it mean to you to have this incredible history restored to you and it'll never be lost again? It means a lot. Gives me a newfound uh, definition of what my identity is, where it comes from. And because I didn't know any of this. I mean, I, I never had a relationship with, I mean, I, I had a short relationship with my mom's mom and that was it. The rest, the, all three of my other grandparents, I didn't know them. Wow. You know, so I didn't grow up with grandparents, you know, and I think that was a, you know, that was a hard thing for me. You know, I hear stories you know, from my friends about how they can't wait to see their grandmother or their grandfather. And they, you know, I, you know, I love my nan or I love my, my Ito, you know, I, I loved, you know, and, and I just, I didn't have that. Right. You know, ever. So it makes me feel closer to them. Yep. Now you got 500 years of grandpa. 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> By name. Right. <laughs> yo, yeah. yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Discovering our ancestors can change our lives, helping us to understand more fully who we are, where we came from, and how we're all connected to a much larger world. To see more incredible family history stories, click here. And thank you for watching.